<laughs> wow. The, the flavor explosion is ridiculous. These little fish pack a massive, massive punch when it comes to flavor. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we're gonna get in the car, drive down to Muscat, and see how the Omanis eat. I can't wait. Make sure you come with. We've made it to Omani House restaurant here in the sweltering Muscat Oman. I'm looking forward to having a very authentic Omani meal with my friend Ahmed, who's behind the camera. I can't stand out here for too long because I will already I'm crispier than uh, than anything so I'm gonna make my way inside hopefully under the AC and try a massive spread of Omani cuisine so we're here in Omani house just called the food a very local restaurant everyone around here is quite local as well I also have a very local guest here with me that's showing me around and really teaching me about the Omani cuisine, Omani food. He's taking it upon himself to order a spread of Omani main dish, very authentic. Um, I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna let him explain. So I ordered one Omani shua and one dry fish. It is very nice. So, but wait for a second. <laughs> Inshallah, you find the good food. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ahmed, what do we have here? This you have the Omani show. This is lamb, you put it with the flame banana. You put in the ground for 24 seven. The lamb cooked with the smoke. This is the famous Omani dish. It's named Omani Shua. So the lamb is very, very soft. So you try, bro. Thank you, Ahmed. I will try the Omani mutton Shua. This is the traditional dish of, or the national dish of Oman. So I'm gonna dig in. Hopefully, hopefully it's as good as, as good as he was saying. So I'm gonna get some, some of this 24 hour literally marinated lamb uh, some of this nice rice and one thing that is a little bit underrated is there's a bit of this sauce here which i'm gonna dig into like that and you have to go with your hands it tastes better when you have it with your hands so listen to that wow wow that is so, so good. You can tell this lamb is so tender. Literally, you can see how it just breaks off the bone. It is so, so tender. And then you've got the niceness of a, of a very staple rice dish that goes with it, almost like a biryani type. And then this sauce here, very underrated. Tomatoey, spicy, very, very nice, cold. It just adds almost like how you have raita with biryani or yogurt with biryani. This is the exact combination. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, brother, you have white rice with the fish, the dry fish. This is also famous dry fish in Oman. The sirdi, the small one. This is put it also about 24 hours. So the zirdin with the salt and put it in the sun for 24 hours. So the fish become more dry. The delicious brother, to be honest. You try also this one. So we have a very high bar to uh, to live up to. Now we have the, the kasha that we have to try. So dried fish and as a Bangladeshi, we know all about dried fish. Um, so it's the sardines. I'm expecting it to be very tangy, very spicy, and um, cooked with a lot of vegetables. I've been told we take the kasha, so like the soup, it's very watery, 
So we've got some sauce there. The kasha goes onto the rice like this with some of this. Okay, we've got this sauce as well. I'm not going to try this sauce right now because we've got enough sauces for now. Over white rice, and like I said before, you have to go for your hands. Omani, Arabic, Southeast Asians, it tastes better coming out from your own hand. So, we're going to try this kasha here. Yeah? Try these sardines, bismillah. <laughs> wow. The, the flavor explosion is ridiculous. These little fish pack a massive, massive punch when it comes to flavor. As I expected, very tangy. You can tell that there's a lot of lemon, a lot of lime. Um, the raw onions gives it a nice kind of spice kick, you can say. These here though, taste exactly what you'd expect from dried fish. Very, very kind of flavorful, concentrated flavor with the sourness, with the spices. This is, this is very, very good. Very good. also rice but you put with the oil this is the famous rice in Omar the it's named Arsia this is really really good and look this sauce it's not spicy like sweet but really good try this one please right so finally what we have is the Arsia and Tursha so the Arsia it looks a bit like like a porridge you know our friend Ahmed was telling us how the rice is mashed up and cooked with oil to make it quite a, a porridge-like consistency and the turcha? Turcha, yes. Turcha, thank yeah. you Ahmed. Um, is like a, a, a chickpea stew, tomato chickpea stew. Now, I've been advised there's a particular way that you have to eat the turcha and the arsia. You pour some of this turcha, I think, onto the arsia, just a, a little bit like, like so. And then you don't go in like this, you go two fingers, one thumb, and eat it like so. So I'm gonna give it a go. I've already tried to pour the pour the tusha yes. over the arsia. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna give this a try. So two fingers, one thumb. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's quite hot actually. Bismillah. Interesting. So how the sauce? Hmm. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. That this tusha is actually a little bit sweet. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I told you the sweet. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a it's a little bit sweet. Yeah. So this tusha is a little bit sweet, whereas the arsia has again like a porridge like consistency almost like a mashed potato type consistency but it's got a bit of kick to it you can taste the cardamom in there you can taste the various spices pepper and um, it's very very smooth you know it's very nice very smooth nice and all I think the flavor palette balances quite well it's got the sweetness but then it's got the spicy of the arsia I think this is quite a good combination and you can see here it's got shredded it looks like shredded chicken in it yeah chicken it's got shredded chicken in it so you can get a bit of that protein it's actually quite nice i i quite i quite like it <laughs> so bro you put a two finger and this like oh it's more easy i see yeah look two finger <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Yeah. Oh, that was a lot of food. That was a lot of food. Very good. Very, very, very good. Omani cuisine. It was all very different. So some sweet, some sour, some spicy, some not so spicy. It was a very, very good meal. So thank you very much to my friend Ahmed. You're welcome. Now we are gonna have our lemon mints, and we are gonna make our way to Ahmed says. 
some dessert. You excited? I'm very excited. Let's go. Let's go. Because really, we're hot like 38 degrees today. <laughs> oh, shukran. That's all, brother. So, so this is, I have two dish there. This is desert, okay? This is Omani desert. So, this is one with the cheese and honey. This is cheese and Omani chips. So you try one. I'm definitely gonna try okay. one. I'm definitely gonna try one. Okay, so dessert is I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce what this is called, but we have a really really thin kind of pancake type crepe, um, and this one has cheese and honey in it. Oh, wait one second. Sabar, sabar, sabar. Best give you Okay. <laughs> he wants his money. Um, <laughs> You think it run? Yeah. <laughs> um, it smells super sweet because of the honey, and and we're almost like in a drive through and we're getting these pancake type crepes, cheese and honey. And uh, Ahmed also said to get this cheese and Omani, Omani chips. Yeah, Omani chips. Omani chips. So we're gonna try both. We're gonna try both. I'm gonna go for the honey first. We get some sweetness here. That is so good. I'm not joking. That is that delicious. It, so light. So it's sweet, but it's very light. It doesn't feel heavy. I could easily eat a whole one of these. I think. <laughs> sorry, I mean, I'm not going to be sharing this one. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you see the cream, like the cheese. Not cream cheese. Mm. It's not cream cheese. Yeah. Um, delicious. Absolutely delicious. You can try this one, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. Swiftly moving on, it's the same cream cheese with some chips. And again, it's this flatbread type crepe, um, Omani type snack, dessert. We're gonna break a bit off here. Oh, sorry. Yes, okay. Um, break a bit off here. Oh, this smells nice. It smells very nice. Let's go for this. Oh, very good. This is very nice. It's got the flavor of the chips, so yeah. the actually, I thought they were going to be like chips, chips, but they're crisps with cheese. This is very nice. It's almost like a really, really flat panini type savory snack. This is delicious. Hmm. The crunch. Very, very good. Very, very good. Oh. And as a snack, perfect. Absolutely perfect. It's like wow. Mm. Come in Oman and try the food. Really, really is good. So I hope to see you again, inshallah. Take care, bro.